in a world where VR doesn't suck and AR is useful enough to actually spend money on it. One keyboard rules them all. It doesn't have cords. It doesn't have keys. Hell, it doesn't even have a board. So forget everything you know, because. No, seriously, like just forget it because this thing has a learning curve all its own. Cheddar is a post cable network that focuses on innovative products, technologies, and services. Check out their YouTube channel below and stay tuned for more coming later in this video. Tap, the wearable keyboard, looks and feels totally like sci-fi when you first put it on, but it's actually very simple to use. Just take the strap out of its charging case, slide it over your five feelers, and press its one and only button to both turn it on and activate pairing mode. Your computer or your phone or whatever will simply see tap as an input device. But while you might think that it works by moving your hand in space across a virtual QWERTY, tap is not that type of keyboard. Rather than distinguishing characters based on your finger's locations, it works by assigning each letter or number its own unique gesture. You see, each of these rings has its own three axis accelerometer, which communicates with the thumb unit via a thin wire hidden within the strap's fitting cable. Tap registers keystrokes by measuring the deceleration of your fingers as they come in contact with the surface, which means A, you do have to type on something and not in the air, and B, while you can use soft surfaces like the couch or a friend's leg, hard and flat surfaces work best, especially while you're learning. So what's cool is you never have to look at your hand while you're typing, something that even the most experienced touch typists have to do from time to time, with the drawback being that you have to learn more than a handful of uh, these tap gestures. The most common letters, vowels, use the simplest gestures, single taps, while the most common consonants use two finger pairs. And the complexity increases as you go through the alphabet, with some of the more obscure letters reminding you just how embarrassingly limited oh, no. your motor skills really are. Fortunately, the good people at TAP had the sense to include easy shortcuts, like double tapping your middle finger instead of doing this. And you're not limited to letters. There are gestures for most common functions, including backspace and enter, and you can even toggle a numpad. But having experienced a range of, let's call them alternative keyboard layouts in the past, we know that sometimes, no matter how great it is, the effort involved in learning to use a new board just isn't worth it. So how does TAP compare? Actually, it's less horrible than you'd think. The team worked with neuroscientists at Stanford to design a training app that gradually introduces and then drills the gestures into your muscle memory. They even incorporated catchy little jingles to help you remember certain letter groups, and the thing really works. James was able to learn the alphabet and start, slowly, typing in about two hours, with most people apparently reaching 30 to 40 words per minute in about five. Now, one weird thing is that once you learn the gestures on one hand, you actually don't need to relearn them for the other hand. It is oddly easy to switch, which Tap lets you do in the helpful, but not actually necessary companion app, Tap Manager. And there's more. Tap also has a built-in mouse that you switch on by just laying your thumb down and then moving your hand around provided that it works on your desk. I had to use a mouse mat. And that would make TAP the most ergonomic mouse on the planet if it weren't for the fact that you have to lift your fingers to register clicks and to scroll up and down a page. You can enter continuous scrolling mode by tapping your ring and pinky fingers, though it's not continuous enough for my liking, especially on the phone, or you can toggle a sustained left click for dragging and highlighting by tapping the ring and middle fingers. 
The best part is that there's very little latency in switching from keyboard to mouse, which is critical because you need to lift your hand off the surface once you run out of mouse pad. Which brings us then to the experience of using it section of the video. Unlike the Mio Gesture armband thing from a while ago, tap can be reliably turned off and on as you switch tasks throughout the day. So if you're cleaning up, you don't have to worry about it registering a bunch of keystrokes as you touch something. Then when you're ready to type again, the strap is actually pretty good at registering the strokes that you intend to type, as long as you do a good job of typing them. It's light enough to be worn comfortably for its entire eight hour battery life, and it's discreet enough to let you still use your hand to use a mouse, open doors, or tap that ass. But just because tap is pretty darn good for what it is doesn't mean that I'm recommending that you rush out and buy it. Considering that you're not gonna be faster using tap, the use cases that are compelling enough to spend $180 on one of these are pretty niche at least for now. However, in a few years when we have, you know, I don't know, uh, standalone AR glasses and TAP has managed to push the price down to maybe 40 to 50 bucks, I could see a device like this in or on a lot more people's hands. Cheddar TV has a wide variety of different segments and over on their YouTube channel, you will find a ton of topics. One of them is called Cheddar Explains, where they take a particular topic and, well, they explain it. You can check out Cheddar's video on cord cutting and traditional media at the link below. They go through and discuss the cable industry, how it's changed over the past 15 to 20 years, and how they're trying to adapt. So have a look at that video and the rest of their content again through the link below. So thanks for watching guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured in the video description. Also linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join. Something even the most experienced touch typists have to do. Something <laughs> that is <in> this. <laughs> Though the disadvantage is that you will have to learn. What are you doing? Right? You do. What is this? What? <laughs> what? <laughs>